Here we are, map number three, Mutants 2-0 in the lead in the grand final of Dawn of Legends. TTK cooking up a portal, but where are homies going? Let's see where they are going. Uh, what time are you on, by the way? Like, because I'm, I've skipped all the way. I, I'm through. at 32, 31, 30. Okay. Yeah, we're even. All right. Lovely. Okay. I mean, it looks like uh, Dustin Palera is still really anchoring quite far back, looking to defend this high ground Ooh. angle. Sticky dies, not good. Yeah, that's going to be a res at least coming through, but now Nukes. Uh thing has been expended which is going to be a, a huge loss oh my goodness cal they've managed to get a huge drop on ttk even while taking damage that is going to be unresable and now ttk is likely going to be isolated as well and though taken out by wisps that is a critical duel to win we know that ant has been an absolute menace on this point especially against wholesome consistently out dueling both hydron and sinatra back there it's an absolute brawl inside the arcade right now and cal hasn't been given the extra buff coming up from rocket yet looking for the loki trying to discover which one is the correct one the groot ultimate is huge coming through from Vinny, and that means dust can just carve through everybody Still moving into that tiny area. Yeah, you get that Groot ult from Vinny, and it's huge. But without TTK to follow it up, it's easy for Dust to just roll in on everyone trying to follow up on that ultimate and hit him with a fat E. Yeah, I thought the fight was done and dusted once Vinny had rooted everyone. But the response... Oh, done and dusted. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the response was uh, was really, really good from um, the rest of the training axe team Vinny again hit a fat stun it ended last map i thought it was going to end the first fight on this one but no great response and now well they won the fight and they've got the ultimates to show for it cal and dust maybe looking for a wombo combo of their own cal and sjp in tandem launch their ultimate shifts coming through ants already caught out that's going to be an easy res coming through now everyone just hides away waiting for that to happen ants is back yes and it's going to be dust being forced to disengage do you want to try and use an eye of agamotto here playing around this scaffolding is certainly going to give over a little bit more cover sjp perhaps too far forward the angle still given over and paler hits the fart grenade that's necessary as ant is going to be run upon disengaging going to be weak that's going to be a follow through and Kaniacs now finally have found their groove defending Shibuya. This was a domino fight. Everyone was living for so long. We saw all four root walls deployed at once. It was like a whole floral garden for the front steps of Shibuya. But in the end, once it all faded Wait, away, Cal was on a giga angle with a shotgun. Oh, where is Dust? Oh, Dust has had to cancel a portal. That's going to be on cooldown now. Three minutes until the next one. Good drop with the ult here. Oh, never mind. They just give up now. Sorry. An attempt to go for it. It's the back. Oh, nice dodge coming through there from Harvey, using it to avoid incoming CC, but still not enough to avoid what Dust is bringing forth. TTK misses. Doesn't hit Cal. They're surviving. They're rolling forward. They're thriving. The shotgun in hand. The ammo's not unlimited, but the damage is still there. Going sky high. Wants to get onto the Hella. Has found them and can't get away in time. The casting animation on the Crow is simply too long. And now 30 seconds remain to use three ultimates to cap first. Feels like Cal really understands the threat assessment against the enemy team. Every time the Ant is staging on and off angle, Cal is instantly ziplining over and saying, Hello, man. Meet my shotgun. I'm dealing with them in record time. But they're stunned up here. They might go down. Oh, the crew is good. Dust gets anti-heal just from doing too much damage. Only one of them can be resurrected. It's going to be Dust, which means Cal's going to be not really present for this forthcoming fight still everything one's kept at bay for but a moment and on the off angle now has got the healthy 130 can lay down so much damage this is likely going to be the cap that was necessary over time in session players have got to stay on this point at all times but they've got enough to make it happen cal knows they've got to stay on point you can't run away from cal's ultimate Vinny tries to erect a wall to get themselves out of harm's way healing comes through from the shift of the loki that regeneration zone is more than enough and Ant as well once again, taken up Wisps. Ant is absolutely clapping when it matters the most. Ant has risen from the kingdom of the dead and taken a, cr a crown for themselves. Yeah, can't leave them down for too long in that fight. Use the Hella ult to just effectively zone everyone off the point. They didn't find the kills, but they didn't really need to. They were playing for the objective. That's what they got. And then Ant, fresh off the healthy 130, just has to go back to the knives and luckily puts two right through the skulls of Wisps. And that's all that they needed ptk though got ultimate for themselves to respond i feel like as you said tempo and snowballing is really important 
in this 6v6 six six mode, I think particularly on this map because of how forward you get to advance your position to try and stop the movement coming in from the spider car and TPK is so many fat stuns this tournament. Are we going to see another one? Powers taken by Frost. That's of course going to be the Rocket Raccoon. Answered on the other side, I believe, by Harvey. So there are amplifiers on both sides, but guess what? Mutants have much better cover for theirs. It's easy to destroy Frost, and Frost is already out of that ultimate form. Wait, Dust is cooking. Dust is cooking with an ultimate here, trying to distract TTK. Goes into the back. Eye of Agamotto. It's blocked out by TTK. Beautiful play, and that means that it's open season for SJP. Yes, they die for their trouble, but they get resurrected right after. And there's enough space gained here for the side of Mutants. Cal needs to make something work on the back line here, but doesn't quite have access to all of these juicy targets that they want. A feast for Ooh. the crows. Wait. Oh. Wisps using the ultimate, basically down, and yeah. they're just going to get swiftly dealt with. Oh, Wait. Wisps tried to cook a little bit too hard there, I think. Yeah. This one's got to be done. Yeah, I, I love how the uh, mutants are playing, though. It feels like they're so formulaic with their ultimates. They really are waiting for something from Vinny, maybe a combo from Nuke and SJP together. It just feels like they're playing the neutral fight so patiently, and just effectively waiting for a wombo combo to come up online and just overloading their opponents with damage, sustain, whatever you want, whatever they need, whatever they can get. TPK still holding on to the Eye of Agamotto. Again, it's going to be really important if they swing this corner. Firepower, bought to the four. Cal has the decision to make. Do you want to invest it? Whoa, tries to dodge the Eye of Agamotto. I think that hits three people there coming Big through spin. from the side of TTK. It's huge, but the follow-up's not there because behind him, the building just managed to disintegrate. And now that building has to be broken down by the damage of Cal with this judge, jury, and executioner. Finds and wants Nuke. The tracking's not quite there to try and take down that tiny target of the Rocket Raccoon. And still, there's going to be a stalemate moving forward. Yet another amplifier. This one belongs to Nuke rather than Harvey, but Harvey can do a second it's phase here. for Vinny. Oh, it's just a gigantic stun again from Vinny. Three locked up in the vines and that one was a vine because it only lasted six seconds in that fight the Groot got them signed sealed and delivered that might be all the mutants need to wrap up this cap and this seems a far cry from how difficult it was to take first here sjp gonna soon have that all important ultimate what's harvey decided to use okay it's a copy on the punisher long range damage here to try and force people off the car one minute remains so this is by no means the last chance here for mutants attack but still they're going to invest into it they want as much time as possible sjp gets two but it has come at a significant price dust now needs to make a decision the eye oh gets walled in by the eye of but vinny's overextended the follow-up's not really there vinny's gonna survive the healing's on point and eye of agamodo from behind has it picked up enough though seems like Pella may well have been the victim of that one dust sits on cart to try and keep things together but can't quite make it happen after what was one heck of a hold on a momentum serves mutants well definitely so the snowball was brilliant I'm gonna say it was like methodical it was premeditated it was so patient from mutants and it feels like they don't really get carried away by numbers they don't really overexpend their ultimates in fights they know they can win and what they've also been able to do is use those ultimates to get back in a situation where they're lost again i mean like they, we've discussed this haven't we in some other maps and some other series you can use your ultimates when you're down in the fight to flip them it's a gamble it's a risk but if you can find a two or three man stun suddenly that 5v6 becomes a 5v4 in your favor and you can stabilize from there particularly if the rocket raccoon can get the respawn in onto your back line but um they're just winning too many fights off uh vinny's ultimate to be honest mutants yeah um, they need to training i seem to find some way to deal with this either wisp need to shoot them more they need to give more support to cal to mow them down because they're playing the neutral they're just living and then vinny is grabbing all four of their front line which is cal dust pala and uh, Frost, I guess, um, and just landing massive stuns every single time and, and getting completely burst. In particular, Hal has been caught by these root, these root grabs so, so much. Like, almost an illegal yeah, amount, dare I say it. Yeah, maybe doing some good cooldown counting with the walls as well. We've seen Paler do some great stuff, especially in the previous match of blocking, uh, blocking follow-up on these group walls or with eye of agamotto using their own walls to try and make sure that oh okay dust is going to teleport everyone towards the back what's the play here this is a, this is a nice angle and yeah, deep angle is going to give a, a lot of freedom here for cal 
And already TCK is going to try and challenge it using that flight. Remember, Ant on this angle is not going to be suffering from damage drop off and really bring a lot to the table. Yeah, Tally's just going to get the shield as well from Dust to be able to peek this corner with the unlimited ammo. I think the goal is to get SJP off this high ground, try and make them fall onto the streets of Shibuya, get the all-important off handle themselves. Ant falling low once again. Oh, but look at that. TCK actually comes up and gets a melee finish. There is going to be a resurrection, yes, and Cal's falling down on the other side, but now it's just degenerated into a brawl on the point, desperately trying to make their way through the window. TCK's taking some significant damage and does have the anti heal on them from a fully charged lot of dark energy, using that to just burst Paler as Ant manages to take out Wisps. It's a consistent dual win, but we're seeing still Vinny falling. That's not good at all. And I don't think they're going to be resable either. Without that other tank, maybe this is a fight that could be taken on point here for the side of Kaniacs. Yeah, we've seen this happen. Time and time again, the Buddy flank going out. And as I oh say that, never mind. TTK is just landed a fast person. Eye of Agamotto. Unbelievable from TTK. And the follow up is there perfectly. Well called, well answered, and well executed. I mean, this is so bad for the Craniacs, right? Like, they go on the off angle rotation. They manage to play a 6 v 5 looking for ultimates to try and flip the fight. And in the end, all they do is just delay themselves to walk right into the eye from TTK and as we look at the time like now two minutes burn on just one push yes like they, they got ultimates for it but I mean ultimately the position for the mutants is just so so good in particular this front line has been so hard to dislodge on this map with the group walls and the cover that is available now they're gonna again try another rotation but I almost just want them to be quicker with it two minutes left this could potentially be one of two fights they've got available judge during executioner launched fourth by SJP oh the Loki shift still so valuable Halo gonna oh get god, a lot of healing coming Vinny. through my god that Groot ultimate is crazy Vinny and SJP combine perfectly and all that's left is to execute the hostages who remain there is a little bit of a turnaround coming through still from whips hitting the fights the, hitting a couple shots that we need in the end though and still unchecked means that that hella can tear through all who's opposed them i mean that's got to be one for psychological damage as well remember this is a first two four or a best of seven whichever one but the time at which they've been able to burn two fights in a row now they try and go for dare i say a cute rotation they try and play from a different angle but isn't just straight from main fair enough but each time they just walk into a tank ultimate first it was ttk's next it was vinny's you gotta really feel for this training apps team because the tanks from mutants are just completely locking them down any chance they get check this out harvey's already expended the shift it's gonna be an amplification here a second bit of resing is available as cow moves forward goes to the first amplifier with ease can't stand up against this much damage coming through wants to try and find that what a Groot ultimate SJP is instantly down should be resurrected here at least they can't finish off TTK how did TTK get away with that one the shotgun shells just do not land and now it's down to dust to try and clutch this it's got to be a huge eye of Agamotto still Cala Wisps have done enough I think you might not have to invest too much in this one even with TTK having survived Ooh. longer than they should and Ant taking out Wisp with a stun orb of all things and Harvey as well with a crow explosion afterwards. Oh, thank the lucky stars for the side of Kaniacs that they were so close to getting a cap because that could have been turned around by Ant. Yeah, the fight was already done. I just had to see what they were cooking in this fight um, and why it didn't work on the last one. But this time though, they get Wisp on the angle and they get them with the healthy 130 just to be able to rain down damage it was the space created by the respect that came through from Westbrook because you have to you cannot just stay in the sight line of that hell out of the light you will get burned but never mind like SJP is already going back in with all of their own yeah, huge ult coming through from the side of SJP. Taken down by Cal, though. Good use of a shotgun against that big hitbox. SJP does return, yes, but so too does Paler. Cal feeling the pressure. Oh, three caught by TTK again. Yet another perfect ultimate. Yes, trades his life for it, but buys that critical stability that we've talked about being so important when momentum seems to be the king and queen of pushing this map. Yeah, particularly when you've got so many cooldowns um, coming out from, from Nuke and Vinny, the Groot and the Raccoon, respectively. We've seen Nuke reposition just to put the res beacon down. But again, they've effectively not really lost a member as long as that beacon remains undestroyed. Dust is going to try and push people out on the off angle here, but I mean, Ant's ultimate looks like it's going to be going up any second and it could just be a problem for them.
Oh, solo up there onto Cal. The follow-up's not quite there. Multiple walls are going to be pulled up by Vinny as they try and get rid of Cal, but you run a large risk here, and the risk has been realized. Walled in, shotgunned, and that's going to be multiple players now in the path of Cal. Judge, jury, executioner, and hits the perfect shots. That might well have been a two-tap, a headshot into a body, showing what is worth in this hero. Halo desperately needs Jury. healing, but it's not going to be enough. SJP taken down at range. It's the same story again. The hell is so good at shutting down these Punisher ultimates. But I don't know if there's enough room here for Kaniacs to really move forward. They've lost so many on the way. I don't think they can move forward because we've got to walk into Ants in this position from that last fight. I was watching their perspective from the third person and it was absolutely godly. Really deserving the crown of, of Queen of the Underworld for sure is this Hella. As Cal gets first, and it's just forcing too many cooldowns, so much pressure, so much damage with these primary fires that it's really sending Cal on the flank just to try and deal with them every single time. Oh, SJP raised, instantly brought back up in the back line. Reverse is going absolutely mad, trying to get the damage done. Disengages now as we move towards the point. Harvey's been taken out as well, flipping the map. A big flank from all of Kaniac seems to have worked out here as Reverse tries to get themselves to safety. Yeah, excellent play. Again, just to sort of double up on the point I was making pre-fights, like Ant doesn't get the angle to just free hit onto the enemy team. This fight, that hella damage is effectively completely neutralized. They didn't do a single point there. And now, well, the spider cart remains trawling on and the overtime wick is about to start burning. I believe it's do or die now for the training oh, here at this point. TTK is cooking hey. a poor Trying to make it happen. Into the back. Instantly pops it. Doesn't hit anybody. Apart from, of course, Paler. And there's the follow-up coming through. Nuke's able to contribute to that. Dust on the other side, I think, got a couple more. And this is going to allow for a little bit more space. A little bit more healing. Still, TTK is able to turn this one around after being resurrected. A good E used. Up into the sky goes and Plenty of HP to try and carve through here. Overtime means that Paler has to stay on the cart for as long as possible. And Cal's going to take so long to return to the fight here and utilize this ultimate. Palin needs to hit the group of their life. Multiple people come oh, on in. Jury executioner instantly destroyed. It's Cal who's come in from the other side. The angle was unexpected. The damage is perfect. And the cap is true. Kaniacs extend their life on Shibuya. Oh, they stay alive by the skin of their teeth. And now they go into the Stark Fujiwaka area. It's going to be a lot better for them to front to back. And my favorite character, like, they is the Punisher guy. Especially when he can come in from the side with that big shotgun of his. Absolutely <laughs> incredible damage from Cal. Just waiting to all the cooldowns from the enemy tanks were stripped and going from there. Excellent patience. Remember, in an overtime fight, you'd think that sometimes you might want to pull the trigger on it early, but no, Cal waited and they found all the value in the world with it. Yeah, the groundwork laid down by Paylor, forcing it. things out. Yeah, Vinny, Ward, lots of damage coming through. That forces out the shift. And there's blood in the water here, so Reverse decides to try and put down the amplifier. Wisps goes up towards the sky. Eyes on Nuke here. Gets them low, but can't quite finish it. And dueled out by Wisps. Perfect play there. And that's the respawn beacon down as well, with, Wh with Vinny falling down. TTK, this is starting to snowball out of control for the defensive mutants. Yeah, here we go. As we said, the snowball effect once again coming into play the train has well and truly left the station and is steamrolling ahead for the side of the trainee acts here vinny's been so good with the uh, the group walls this map but last fight that was all power being able to wall that group in get the counter wall themselves and just take down that tree and from there it was free hitting ttk looking for a way to get value out of his eye of agamodo has plenty of oh, cover to play going. with. Down they go. Catches Cow. Catches Wisps as well. There's the follow-up from Ant. It's perfectly done. SJP has the angles with the ultimate. The damage is true. The res is there too. But Vinny's just been able to move forward and maraud with so much damage. This is going to be a stop here for sure. 3-0 to the mutants. Wow. And I really thought they could get it in that last fight. But in the end, you know, we had mentioned their name in a couple of fights. But it was TTK with the eye of Agamotto to just stun up Cal, stun up the other DPS as well. And I think hit one of the battles. That was three from the Doctor Strange.